Okay, class, good morning. Um, today I'm going to talk about how to set up your Google Documents account um, and using it to create your surveys and to also collect your survey responses and have it in a spreadsheet format so that you can go ahead and enter it into the data file in SPSS. First of all, you want to go to docs.google.com and it should bring you to a page like this. If you don't have a Google account, then you need to set one up. If you don't understand what Google Documents is used for, click on the little video that's there. Play it, listen to it, watch it, learn from it. Home is where we keep the things we need. Whether it's a lawnmower or a coffee pot, it has a home in our lives. Of course, our documents are no different. For years, they lived on our computers. Each person has their own computer-based home for documents. When we need to share a document, we usually attach it to an email and send it to a friend's or co-worker's computer home. Here's the problem. When you attach a document, Okay, and of course that video goes on for about two and a half minutes, which is fine. But I'm going to go ahead and log into my Google account and show you a couple of things on what you're going to do to create your survey. Hope I spelled that right. Okay. First and foremost, let me show you this. I created a form and it has columns. And if I go to actually form, and I want to edit my form, it's going to look a little something like this. This is a social work student survey. It's meant to assess the views, attitudes, opinions, belief, knowledge of Tuskegee University students about abortion or whatever. You need to make sure you change and you only select one of these and you change the topic depending upon what your survey is about. Uh, this is called informed consent, and this has to be on all of your surveys. And by the way, I have to approve your surveys before you can unleash them on the world. These are just two questions. Your surveys are going to have a total of 10 questions. Three of those questions will be demographics, which is basically background information, and all this, of course, is contained in your textbook. And after your three questions, I only have two here, I know. Um, you'll add additional questions, all right? And there's a lot of things you can do with this form. You can embed it if you, and embedding means if you wanted to put it into your website or if you wanted to edit the confirmation, what your users see after they take your survey. You can also do something really cool, which is not gonna be useful to you for this particular course, but you could do a show analysis and it will create, it'll let you know how many responses you have for your survey. And you would see these really cool little pie charts. Isn't that amazing? Now you see why I really like Google Documents. So I'm going to go back to editing. You can also email this form to all your friends. Um, and it's going to show that it's coming from your Gmail account, which is really cool. Because you will need at least 100 responses on this survey. I believe that's what the instructions say. But I'm going to cancel this. And... I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and if you wanted to add another question, you simply click on add question and choose the question type and you just take it from there. So I'm going to close this window and I'm going to go back because when you look at the form, it looks like a spreadsheet and this will be very useful to you to print out when you get ready to enter it into your data coding sheet. Now, how do you get this? How do you create this form? In Google Documents, you will actually Go to create new form. And just like the one that I had, I don't want this question name on here, so I'm going to delete it. But the question I want is a person's age. And I want it to be a multiple choice question. So I could put 18 to 21, uh, 22 to 40, and then I would click done. And if you want to make this a required question, you could do that. And, of course, you need to change the survey title, my survey, whatever you're going to call your survey. And here's where you would include your informed consent statement. And then, of course, you click Save. And that's all there is to it. You just have to continue to add your additional questions. And that's how you create and use a survey in Google Documents. By the way, you can also print this out, and you will need to print this out because I will need to approve it before you launch your survey onto the world. Thank you for watching. Ms. MacArthur's 5-Minute Lab.